what's your your dream scenario if they came to you and they said francis you just put on the show you put down maybe the greatest heavyweight of all time what do you want next if you make the call what would your answer be to that the rematch the rematch is of is uh what i want next the most because um as for right now uh i feel like uh there is a lot of option for me but uh, i want to choose wisely um and uh i will go for the rematch first How you know about like go, 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 going into going into the first one there was a lot of question there was like a lot of uh uncertainty um for boxing but going into the second i mean even going to the training camp there was a lot of um unknown but i think this fight from the beginning uh, of the camp to leading up to the fight i think that was a lot of experience that would definitely help me a lot uh for the second uh, for the second fight and not to mention like the this fight was he was still a lot uh, mentally you know he was my first uh my first training camp since uh, almost two years uh my first fight since almost two years um you know coming out freshly coming out of injury uh there was a lot of doubt a lot of question if your body will hold if everything if you're gonna be good uh very in a very bad shape so uh whoosh from the uh the next one we will be way far from all those stuff how about if they were, if Usyk and, and Fury do fight in February, would you be willing to wait for the, the winner of that and fight for the unified heavyweight championship of the world? Um, listen, my, my best scenario in boxing is to wait for Fury. Um, I mean, if Fury, if Usyk can step out and let me fight Usyk, uh, if Yusi can step out and let me fight Fury, then I fight Fury. Then I let them do whatever they do. I go back, maybe do some MMA fight and come back, take some people in boxing. Um, as I, I'm planning to fight potentially like twice next year, maybe February or March. And again, if he and if he doesn't work, I can still fight February or March MMA. Uh, then expecting by the end of the year. So like this time October because it's gonna give me like uh, at least eight to seven months to recovery uh, from my MMA fight in case something happened. So I still have like a very long secure time there to fight uh, to get ready for the boxing match after a MMA match. I mean the result wasn't there. Uh, I think I was it was stolen from me. They robbed my result. They robbed me from the result. But I still feel like uh, in some way I have a victory, you know, a victory of proving people wrong uh, that I can uh, do this. You were so humble when you spoke in the in the ring after, and you, obviously you've changed your course once you saw the fight back. Is there anything you could do about the decision? Have you Have you filed an appeal? Is there anything you could do to try to overturn it? Okay, uh, that that's something that is very complicated. I mean, inside the inside the ring, um, yeah, I didn't know exactly what happened in the fight. So um, he could have been either way. My uh, my corner, my coaches, they were like, "Oh yes, you won," uh, but I didn't know in which sense they were saying like maybe because I won because I fight good for them. Fighting good was enough. Maybe for them, getting all the way there and. Um, not uh, overwhelm myself was enough. I didn't really, I thought I won, but not sure, you know, but I went back and watched the fight again. And with everything, I'm like, how come this is, um, how come I lost this fight, you know? And for some reason, I feel like I was, everything was against me. And, uh, even the elbow, I saw the elbow, the elbow was which round six or six or seven rounds. And no, the, the the referee didn't say anything about it. From the beginning, uh, in the locker room, uh, in the uh, commission, they, comp they said, oh, no clinch and this and that. Even the Tyson Fury corner was complete, was saying, like, yes, we know he's an MMA guy, he's going to do this. So at the beginning, when we were getting close to the clinch, 
not even two seconds, he was brave. He was brave. Then we get to the moment that Tyson Fury was the one initiating uh, the uh, the clinch, maybe because he was tired or something, and there wasn't that break anymore. So, to be honest, I mean, I feel like I wasn't fairly treated, and that's the only part that is a little sucks about it. Um, not the fact that I lost. I have lost. I mean, Tyson Fury is a great champion, uh, probably one of the best ever uh, do this. Uh, and certainly the one in this area, in this era. So losing against him um, in a good way, uh, in a good battle, wasn't that, wouldn't be that bad. But I'm a competitor, you know, I'm a champion. I have that thing in me that always wanted me to win a fight, right? So I go there to win, not to show, not just to show up and convince people. Um, so I did my job and I feel like, uh, some people take something out of the job that I have done. You know, that's the problem. Um, very frustrating. I saw the um, the scorecard. This guy, Juan Carlo, I don't know, Juan Carlo, Peleo, or whatever is that. He scored his fights, um, 96, 93. I'm like, which fight were you watching? Like, was it some fight playing in your monitor or were you watching exactly this fight? Like, but... You do understand that there is a lot of politics, there is a lot of thing going on, and then uh, I mean, I might just be a collateral damage of some broken system that's been down there, and I really intend to like put my put my finger into it because this is not right. I might don't care. This might not have any effect of me, but there is a lot of fighter out there that being screwed like that with stuff like that, which is shitty. It's corrupt. It's a uh, humiliating for the sport, right? Uh, and stuff like this shouldn't be allowed. It's disgrace for the sport. Are you going to appeal? Is that even a process you could take? No, I can't appeal. You know what? You know why? Because from the beginning, this fight supposed to be a co-promotion and the uh, commission supposed to be approved by both parties. And then we just find out... Uh, that he was a British board of commission. That was the commission of this fight. And we were like, we didn't have to approve. We didn't say anything, but there were further events into staff and everything. So where do, who do I gonna appeal to? To the British board of commission? Uh, I have no chance. I think that's just another way of uh, humiliation. But although they should have like respond into that because there is a criticism that should bring uh, an explanation into that, at least not like up here, but they should explain to us because I'm really curious to know what's happened and why uh, to explain to us.